Okay, so let's start building in this monster. Yeah, let's start with the uh, start with the motherboard. Buy capture card. I I like this. I've said it before. I'll say it probably a thousand more times. I like a removable motherboard tray. Manufacturers, I know, I know that this probably adds cost to it, but damn it, more removable motherboard, tra motherboard trays in cases, please. Let us go ahead and put our I.O. plate in there. That's, a, that's part number one. A screw here, not that big a deal. There we go. Look at how nice that was. Something about sliding the whole motherboard tray and with the motherboard on it, it's just satisfying. It just looks nice. I always really liked the whole like machined aluminum look. This was a case that I, um, like I said, I absolutely could not afford this when I was younger. But now that it's only 10 bucks and filling the <laughs> shelves at the resale places, I can afford stuff like this now. Oh, and I don't want to use black screws, so I gotta find four more matching screws. Oh man, the suffering never ends. So for stuff like this, um, when you have a mount like this, and then we're going to slide the power supply in and then we got to mount it to here. I like to leave the screws loose, um, you know, in situations like this so that we can make sure everything fits in nice, settles in nice, and then I'll tighten them up after everything's together. So if you remember when I first built this computer, we had a problem um, with power supply. And not that the power supply was broken or anything like that, um, it was simply because there wasn't enough uh, amperage on the five volt rail because these socket 462s need a, um, more power on the five volt rail than um, today's power supplies uh, supply for that. Because I was using a um, from my test bench, the 1000 watt power supply I have, and um, it just doesn't supply enough power to the 5 volt rail, CPU's not happy, and it wouldn't boot half the time. So that's why we're using this older power supply. Um, and I've gotten a couple of uh, messages from people, comments, 
saying, you know, oh, you should replace that power supply uh, with something new. Well, the, the problem is with new power supplies, you get like 15 amps on the five volt rail and you need like 25 amps. So this is a color case. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this supplies 40 amps on the five volt rail and um, some new modern power supplies only really supply there's one like this this uh, 700 watt here I have only gives you 22 amps on the 5 volt rail and that's not enough so should the need ever arise to replace this I'll have to look for one with a high at least um, 40 volts on the 5 volt rail, or 40 amps on the 5 volt rail. Okay, so um, in the last case this power supply was in, we needed um, your 24 pin, well actually this one's just a 20 pin um, extension. Well, we no longer need that because this is, um, these, uh, this power supply was um, built back in the day when um, power supplies were always above it. There was no need for such a long, um, 20 pin. So there we go. That's that's pretty much perfect. So what do we have? I want to put that. Let's put that hard drive in there somewhere. Might as well stick this right um, at the bottom. Have air going over it. Kind of a bummer that it's got a black face. It doesn't really match in there. I would I mean, beige or white would be a little better, I think. Um, maybe I can paint it silver.
All right, let's turn it on. Oh, Lord, is that loud. Oh, we got a picture. And that's loud. I, uh, I do want to do something about that. Holy oh. cow. We, we got to do something about that. Holy cow. Well, I put the side panel on it and it's, it's a little better. It's not great. Sounds like some sort of appliance with all those 80 millimeter fans buzzing away in there. That's crazy. Um, I didn't hook up the fans to the um, fan controller, which will probably help because I can, I can turn them down a little bit. Um, I don't have any adapters to attach the front two um, fans up to this thing here, so maybe I have some 80 millimeter fans that I can put in there, you know, replace those. I don't know. Maybe I can wire on some ends. Hmm. Well, I don't have any 80 millimeter fans to stick in there, so I know I can go get some, but they're not open right now, being that it's Sunday. So I guess that's where we're going to call it now. Um, I really had a lot of fun with this. I, 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 lo I, lo I love this case. This thing, it just, it looks awesome. It feels awesome. It is awesome. So, we'll do some more tweaking on this thing. I'll get some better fans for it. Um, replace, you know, the, the 80 millimeters up there and the 280 millimeters down here. I wonder if there's a way that I could replace those two. Oh, yeah, that doesn't swing open. I wonder if there's a way I can replace the two fans in here, the 80 millimeters. Um, maybe with a larger, more silent, you know, single fan. We'll, we'll see. Um, however, um, that's going to be it for it. So, I mean, I had, like I said, I had a great time doing it. I'm so surprised that I found this case um, just kind of sitting there no, for, for less than 10 bucks, And um, it's in such good, good condition. Pretty happy. So, um, if you enjoyed this, uh, let me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want to see more stuff like this, I do it, you know, I try to do it about every week. Um, sometimes it's every other week, but um, it really depends on, the, you know, the interesting stuff I find. So join me next time when um, we'll hook these up with some new fans and we'll see if we can't get this thing running just, just a skosh quieter because <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.